Hi, welcome back to the Biblically Inspired Life. Let's begin by talking about the current events with the coronavirus. Normally, we travel quite a bit and we had several conferences scheduled for this spring and summer. We were supposed to go to Tokyo and Finland, Sweden, some other places, and all of those conferences were canceled or postponed. So we've been here at home since the end of February and we've really enjoyed the time here. We've been able to accomplish a lot both personally and with loveisreal.org. If you follow us on our YouTube channel, loveisreal.org that is, you'll see that Baruch has produced several new extra videos uh, concerning the end times and some other issues. So you'll want to go over to that YouTube channel and check out some of those studies as well as keeping up with the biblically inspired life. In February or end of January, I began a read through the Bible in a year program and I just completed 1st Samuel. So what I like to do is do through the Bible in a year and then also do the studies that, uh, other studies that we do, whether it is some of the online studies with Baruch or also the Hebrew study that we have each week at our study center. So this is just my yearly read through the Bible in a year and I just finished 1st Samuel. And I found some very interesting life lessons from 1 Samuel, and I wanted to share them with you today as we continue to live a biblically inspired life. So the first life lesson that I noticed that I wanted to share with you today is that fear will lead you to disobedience. If you look in 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 24, Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and of thy words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Now the situation during that time was that Saul was called to lead the children of Israel out against the Amalekites and he was told to destroy them and to destroy their um, livestock and all of the uh, things that they owned. They were not to plunder. You read in the scripture many times when the children of Israel are told by God to go destroy certain um, pagans that sometimes they're told to destroy everything. Other times they're told to um, keep the children. Other times they're told you can take plunder. It just depends on what God tells them to do. In this situation, the Israelites were told to destroy everything and to not take the plunder, but Saul was afraid of the people and so he allowed them to take the plunder from the Amalekites against God's wishes and therefore we see an instance where fear caused Saul to disobey God. So we need to realize, first of all, we know that fear is not from God. And second of all, when we give in to that fear, it's going to lead to disobedience. And I think this is an important lesson right now with all that's going on that we cannot let the situation, wherever you are living in the world, we cannot let that dictate our lives. We cannot allow that to keep us from doing the things that God has called us to do. So do not have fear, trust in God, and be obedient. The second um, lesson is that jealousy will poison you. If you look at the relationship between Saul and David, do you remember the passage um, in 1 Samuel 18 verses 7 and 8 where it said the women were um, dancing and they were saying and playing and uh, with the music and they said Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands and it says in verse 8 
that Saul was very wroth, very angry, and the saying of the women displeased him, and he said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed but thousands. And what can he have more but the kingdom? So this jealousy caused Saul many problems. If you see over and over again, his jealousy and envy of David caused him really to have mental problems. You see that he was he was agitated and David was brought in to play the harp. And you can see that jealousy is a poison and it can poison your mind, it can poison your soul, and it is something that you need to avoid. And we need to pray. If we feel that spirit of jealousy or envy within us, we really need to be praying that God would release us from that because it is very detrimental. And here in Proverbs 14.30, it says, A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. So it can take a hold of your life just as fear can Jealousy can take a hold of your life and cause you many, many problems. The last lesson that I wanted to share with you today is from 1 Samuel 18.5. It says, And David went out whithersoever Saul sent him and behaved himself wisely. And Saul set him over the men of war, and he was accepted in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. And what we find is this. When you behave properly, when you behave obediently and wisely, people are going to notice that and you're going to be blessed because of it. Not that we're expecting full blessing for obedience in this life, but if you um, feel a call in ministry, if you um, want some sort of responsibility within your congregation or the community, you need to show yourself as being someone who can behave wisely, modestly, and appropriately. And it says in 1 Samuel 18, 15, it says, Wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, meaning David, he was afraid of him. So even someone who was, um, in some respects, you would say David's enemy, at least Saul saw himself as David's enemy, um, it, it created a fear in him because he saw that David was behaving pr uh, properly. And I wanted to read one more verse in relation to that about behaving wisely and properly, and that's in James 3.13. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom. And then in James 3.17, it says, But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. So I'd like to encourage each of you today and also encourage myself to look over these verses again and realize that there are possibly some behaviors or some thought patterns that we've allowed to creep into our lives which are very detrimental to us personally and our walk with the Lord and also our, um, our relationships with other people. So remember the three, and they are fear will lead to disobedience. Jealousy is a poison and always behave wisely and properly and prudently and that behavior will be rewarded whether by the Lord and possibly also by uh, your fellow 
believers and friends, and they will see you as a leader in the community, whether it's the congregational community, the community you live in, but these traits are very important to either rid ourselves up of or to cultivate. So until next time, I hope that you're all well and have a great day.